promised you a transformative event, and that is what we saw. The judges now just going through the corn. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to interview Brittany. Brittany, was this your first eating contest? Yes. And so, how impressed were you on a scale of 1 to 10 by the competitors? Um. With her pauses, she's so brutally honest. This is the second time that she, gets, she doesn't have to say a thing and she sends this message. So I'm going to give you another try, Brittany. A scale of 1 to 10, how impressed. Rank it. Rank it. All right. I'll tell you, I was impressed on a scale of 10. 10. Crazy Legs Conti, 32. Was it 33 or 32? 33 years of corn last year. Sonya Thomas, herself a former champion. How many years, darling? 33 years also. And you saw the how evenly matched they were, but then Bob Shout, Bob, come on here for a sec. Bob, come here. Tell me about that eating method that you had. Tell me about it, and does it hurt the gums of your teeth? And do you feel you have to floss or rubber tip after this event? Definitely going to use a water tip. Not flossing is past that point. It actually rips all the skin off the underneath of your lip. So it's not the first technique to use, but you got to do something. I got some great eaters I'm going again, so I can't use the same technique they're doing. Most I did no chance. Guess out there, just want to play the game and do whatever you guys. Just still on that hand. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yes, here they are now trying to get the corn off of his face. It's, it doesn't, you know what, it looks good on you. How'd you feel out there today? So good. So good. All right. We're at the judges now. Crazy Lake's Conti seems a little elevated. No? Crazy Lake, how did you feel out there? You must have been able to see Sonia right to your side eating with immense feet. Uh, you know, George, I, I've been struggling in New York with the notion of the American dream. That's why my outfit is black and white, because I, I didn't see any gray in there. But I now realize, being here at Yesteryear Village with the great people of South Florida, for the Sweet Corn Fiesta, that the American dream is alive and well. And we're working the farm. So I feel good. I don't care what the outcome is. These are my favorite people in the world to share a big meal with. It's been a bountiful harvest. Get out there and eat some corn on your own. Enjoy it casually. And uh, let's hear it for corn, huh? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Huh? I feel like a proud father to have him. If I had a cross pen, I would give it to him. I feel like I'm at his graduation. Crazy like Sonny, what a great American. What a great American. Let's not worry about Korea, you know, where their students work uh, 60 hours a week studying and, and they beat us in math and science and they were falling behind. No! Crazy Lakes Conti, a corn-eating champion, has restored my faith in America. And I will tell you, let me hear it, but I'm in it. Last night, when I got to my hotel room, I was exhausted and I had lost faith in our country and uh, in the future. And I just sat on the bed and I and I wept big manly tears and I and I was at the abyss. I was a man at the abyss, but that just pulled me back and restored my faith. And I am ready to go on and jumpstart this economy. I'm in the bowel-based economy, but jumpstart this economy and get this country back on track. I know what I'm going to. I'm, I'm stalling. The judges are taking a little bit. So it should only be about 30 seconds uh, because the judges are, are getting. The judges. I spend a lot of time in hotel rooms and I want to tell you something. I'm always looking on the iTunes for great new songs. But this one really disturbed me. Listen to this song that I got. It's an alternative version of Metallica's.
says, one minute. <laughs> what, what else did you find on the internet, George? What, what else? Oh, I also on the internet? I've never even been on the internet. This was one of my favorite songs. When I was in college, and, and I thought it was, uh, I thought it was a little bit too hardcore for me, so I was, I was pleased to see someone slow it down. And I don't know if you're familiar with this one. It's called True. Who doesn't love this song? If anybody's feeling like you need to do it, don't hold back. 